Hi, I'm Telecreations, and this is my Eureka Cinema thingy. There's meant to be text here. I don't know if there is. Anyway, um, I'm going to do another collection video uh, where I talk about my collections in Blu-ray format, mostly, because why not? Uh, and we're doing today our Eureka Cinema collection. Don't know what Eureka Cinema is? Well, they're, they're known for their Masters of Cinema collection. They're pretty much just another version of Criterion or Arrow Video. Uh, videos that I have done collections of or are coming out soon. I've just filmed my Criterion one, but this one might come out first. Uh, Eureka, so this is what they look like. You have your Eureka brand at the top there. Um, sorry about the viewfinder. Uh, Masters of Cinema. This is my first of their collection, number 92 in fact, because um, they have spines as well, much like uh, Criterion. Um, this is the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Uh, this is a Blu-ray uh, remaster um, with the full version of the film, uh, plus a DVD as well. Uh, not much in terms of what's on the backing of it, of it. This is the definitive 2014 restoration of the first true horror film, the 1920 silent expressionist, expressionistic, no, expressionist masterpiece. A film by Robert Wayne, or oh, Wayne. Um, this is maybe one of the oldest films I own. Um, yeah, 1920, fuck, it must be. And I have watched it, I can actually say that, which I very much am happy about. Um... This one comes with a little booklet as well about the restoration, about the film. Uh, comes with, of course, the film on Blu-ray and the film on DVD. So I might do a video. I, I can do a video essay on it if I want to. Uh, uh, it comes with a lot of extra details as well with all the stuff on the back, with documentary stuff about the remaster and about the film. Uh, a lot of special features indeed. A 44-page booklet, including vintage writing on the film. Oh, oh. Spooky scary. Um, it's only 77 minutes, but it's pretty good. Um, it's German expressionism at its finest, really. This and one that I've got later in the collection. Fuck. Uh, this is the majority of my Eureka Cinema collection, uh, which also happens to be plus one. Uh, almost all of my Jackie Chan collection. I also have The Armor of God, Drunken Master, which is the second Drunken Master film, and uh, Operation Condors, which is Armor of God 2, um, The Foreigner, which I put in his collection. His collection are mostly the ones that he's acted in, not always the ones he's directed in. Um, and I have this as well, which is like the fourth Police Story film, uh, but it's all it's from Japan, as you can see there by the um, little sticker, if it'll focus on it. It's cost me seven dollars, um, but it's, it's all in Japanese. There are no English subtitles, so I can't really watch it and enjoy it for being an English film, because it's in Cantonese and in Japanese. There's no English, so that's great. Uh, so let's talk about all of his other films. So, okay, we'll talk about the two that don't come in box sets, because the box sets are, like, really defining of their, of their characteristics. Uh, firstly, we have... Uh, Drunken Master, because Jackie Chan is terrific, and Drunken Master is probably one of his best films. Um, again, he didn't direct it. Uh, this was by Yuan Wu Ping. Um, this is quite a fun one. Comes with a great booklet with some great artwork on it, definitely. Uh, comes with the Blu-ray, and I believe, yeah, the DVD as well. Most, if not all, um, Eureka Cinema remasters come with the DVD, which is really nice of them. They're all region B because, of course, they're all produced in England. And it's a 4K digital remaster. Um, I plan to potentially do a review, uh, not review, a video essay because I did about a 3,000 word video essay on, um, I don't think I did Drunken Master, but I definitely did, um, P uh, Police Story 1 and 2, which I don't know if they came with DVDs, so I hope they did. They might not have. I did it like a 3,000 word essay on Jackie Chan films, specifically talking about Police Story 1 and 2 versus uh, Rush Hour 1, 2 and 3. Um, so that's interesting. That might be a thing. Uh, this is the other one I have of his that is a single thing. Um, City Hunter, 
with a nice slip case there. They mostly always come with the same backing. There's never anything really special to it. This is a 2K restoration. Uh, comes, of course, with a booklet, mostly of stills and production stuff. But given that this is... Well, it says Jackie Chan, but it doesn't say if it's directed by him, does it? Um, a film by Wong Jing. So not directed by Chan, but uh, definitely including him with some of his big stunt team. So that's fun. I haven't seen this one yet. This is probably the only one of Chan's films I haven't seen uh, outside of the one I just mentioned, the fourth police story or whatever, because of course it's in Japanese. I might watch it, but like it's not really... I can't like review it or anything unless I just review about the visuals and I guess the acting, but then like most of the acting comes from dialogue, so it's uh, kind of a problem in and of itself. Let's start with, oh, where do we start? Let's, why they, they're all in the order of release date, which, because, of course, there's a big box. All right, uh, let's start with Police Story 1 and 2. So this is the box set uh, version from Eureka Cinema. Um, both films are a 4K remaster, which is very nice. Uh, they both slip in, but, of course, they both come out at the same time. Uh, and here we go, Police Story 1 and 2. There is Criterion releases of these which come in like one case. Uh, I don't have that because I bought this one first. Because this was on pre-order, so I got this. Uh, damn. It's just the Blu-ray. But it is a 4K remaster with a gorgeous booklet that goes into all the mini posters and the production design and all that. It also has a reversible slip cover, which is very common of British stuff. Arrow Cinema also do it. Um, it's, it's just a different colour. It More or less, if you want it to suit the colour of... Um, the box that it comes in, uh, Police Story 2, also, this is the extended version of the film, but again, is also a 4K remaster, and again, comes with that white slip cover on the back, um, I don't know why, I guess so you could put them together and be like, look, they're the same co cover spine, also comes with a cool booklet, I think, Police Story 1 and 2 are, maybe his best two films, um, they are actually directed, I think they're directed by him. Uh, does it, it doesn't say per se, like it doesn't have anyone else's name on it. I'm very sure he directed them. I'm very sure to say that these are directed by him. Um, they are very good films. Uh, exceptional remasters, exceptional action films. Uh, then of course we have Project A, which was it came just a bit later. Um, 2K restorations of both of both films. Uh, I believe he also directed both of these as well. He also co-wrote them, I think. Um, these ones I don't remember as much as to what happens, but Police Story is probably more memorable, but they're both excellent in terms of stunt work. Uh, they both have pretty decent uh, covers to them. They don't have slip things, at least this one doesn't. It has a booklet though, which is nice. Region B Blu-ray. And part two is the same deal, background thing with nice booklet and of course the 4K, the 2K restoration. Um, these films are really nice. Uh, really, all of Jackie Chan's films are really nice, whether he directed them or not. Um, there are still a hell of a lot of Jackie Chan films out there that I'd love to get, and I would very much love to also do that uh, video essay that I did for 3,000 words. Fuck. I'd love to do that someday, but I feel like I need to get these, well, Police Story 1 and 2 on DVD, which is unfortunate. Either way, good films, uh, and the Eureka remasters are very good as well, and they really fit in with each other if you want to get Police Story with uh, Project, a and, uh, Project A Part 2, so that works out pretty well. Like, imagine that. You do Drunken Master first, which is a 1978 film. Then in 83, he does Project A. In 85, he does Police Story. In 87, he does Project A Part 2. And then he does Police Story 2 in 1988. That's, that's a big swamping of films. Next up, we have Fright Night. Oh, um, my favorite vampire film. Uh, this is the 80s version, not the 2010 or 12 remaster, uh, re remake with um, David Tennant. Still a fun film. Um, this is the 4K digital restoration. It is gorgeous. Oh my god, and this film is so fun. Again, not much to say on the back. It's all words and stuff. But that cover is very awesome. 
I love it. Uh, the film itself is very fun. Even the inside is great. Uh, it comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. I love when films come with DVDs because in Australia you can't exactly get a uh, Blu-ray and do a video essay of it because most of Australian tech doesn't actually allow you to convert the Blu-ray onto it unless you, of course, pirate uh, the Blu-ray. And I'm not very fond of pirating. Um, so that's why most of my video essays, if they have footage from the video, uh, from the film, if it isn't from clips online that I've been able to download, it's from a copy of the DVD, so that's unfortunate. But I like when they come with the DVD anyway, because it gives me opportunity to make a video essay. This one I haven't seen yet um, is a 2K remaster of Iron Monkey. With um, It is a slipcase, but there's not much on the outside. I don't know what's on the inside. Uh, again, all region B. Um, this one actually has productions, uh, actually has stills, which is pretty cool. Uh, it does have a booklet, which is nice, and a reversible sleeve, but the reversible sleeve is just like a wallpaper from the film. Um, I don't really know why I got it. I think I got it in a sale, and it was just like, ah, oh, it's Eureka Cinema. It came with a slipcase, which is nice. I uh, didn't expect that. I, I guess I'm trying to get into a Donnie Yen craze, but I still haven't watched it, man. But I have it, but I haven't watched it. Down to our lucky last three. Okay, um, I guess I can talk about these in, as a two-in-one. Uh, this is Metropolis and M. They're two Fritz Lang films that I have in my Fritz Lang collection. I'll talk about M first, I guess. Uh, beautiful cover. I love that design. Uh, this is their ninth film in their remastered collection. It's a regular HD remaster. Uh, nice backing there with all the extra stuff. It does actually come with a DVD as well. Uh, that's the film on Blu-ray, that's the film on DVD, and then of course the DVD with the special features. Um, it comes with this nice booklet as well that covers the film quite well. Uh, not really much to show in that case. Um, it's quite thick, in fact, uh, given that it does have three discs and a booklet. So it's hard for the case kind of to click back together. But um, yeah. It's a good film too, it has a documentary that goes into the detail of the making of the film, as well as uh, a f the 48 page booklet. Um, it's a good, 110 minute film, it's from 1931. Very nice. Um, <laughs> and of course, Metropolis. I have shown this off in my slipcase video. Um, I don't actually, is it? I don't know. Because I know that we had the DVD and that was the, oh, okay, so. The DVD we have, which is, I should look for it first, actually. I don't know what this actually came from, this case of it. I think we may have given the uh, actual Eureka Cinema version to uh, a relative, but I don't know if this actually came with it, because this just has the DVD logo. It doesn't have to even have the Blu-ray. So it's possible that this is completely unconnected. It does have a great detailed booklet, um, which I would say is... Um, doesn't actually say if this is from Eureka Cinema. Oh, it does. This is the Masters of Cinema booklet. Gorgeous, very long booklet. Uh, it comes with a DVD. The problem is, I don't think this is the same Blu-ray. Because this is the Blu-ray that came, that is in my set with it. But the DVD I have is a completely different case, which is also released by Madman. So, um, yeah, and this also comes with its own booklet. So, I will be completely honest with you. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. I think my dad got this special edition collection. Um, to my knowledge, this is, we keep the Blu-ray in this case because it's uh, really cool. We have the DVD of both M and, uh, of course, Metropolis in completely different cases uh, that are remastered by one's Accent collection. That's for M. The other one is uh, Madman. Um, that Metropolis, I don't think that DVD of Metropolis is actually the full version, because this Blu-ray is definitely the full version. The Eureka Cinema version is the full version, as well as the uh, Blu-ray I have from Madman. I believe my dad got the Blu-ray, because of course he wanted to get the Blu-ray, and he gave the Eureka DVD to either, but he wanted to keep the case, of course. Uh, I think he gave it to my grandparents, or he gave it to my uncle, so his brother. Um, Either way, he gave it to someone else because he already had the DVD and he wanted to give the full version of the DVD to someone else uh, that was family, so because we he was getting the upgraded Blu-ray full version. So either way, 
we still have it. We still have this gorgeous case. So I'd say it still counts in the Eureka Cinema collection because it still is Eureka Cinema. Um, but it's a beautiful film, and I definitely would recommend it, whether you get the Eureka Cinema version or you get the uh, another version on Blu-ray. So I feel like that's an oddity, but that is still uniquely Eureka. Lucky last, we have another one I bought for my dad. This is Silent Running. Um, a nice little, uh, nice cover there. This is done by Douglas Trumbull. You might know him for the spe as a special effects artist, because he did 2001 Space Odyssey, a special effects. Um, so he's big, known for his special effects stuff. He did a lot of special effects in movies, and even uh, roller coasters and stuff in theme parks. This one he actually directed, um, but he did the special effects for it as well. This is a, um, a HD remaster. Uh, comes with a big booklet as well, which is really nice, and the film on Blu-ray. It's it's a 90-minute film. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good. The, the effects especially great. The narrative is quite interesting. Uh, it is a bit different to the... I don't think it's based on a book, but there was like an original ending that's a bit different and has aliens and stuff, but it doesn't matter. This is... It's a slow burn kind of film, um, and it's more or less just takes in the appreciation of kind of a space utopian society, but then of course has its plot that it involves in itself. Um, I don't want to really give it away, but uh, it's good. I think it's a good film. Um, it's definitely an interesting sci-fi opera, uh, very much like 2001, um, but a lot more restricted, a lot more narrative focus. Um, yeah, it's it's good. I, I'd suggest it. If you're going to get it, this is definitely probably the best version to get. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, it's a bit slow and boring, but I mean, I think most of the Eureka films I have are kind of in that vein, except for maybe Fright Night. So, yeah, look, and the Jackie Chan ones. Additionally, we have Troll, the collection. This is a uh, double collection, which actually has a nice slip cover, so you'll see this in my slipcase video. Uh, nice alternative cover, which is really cool. Um, this actually comes with three films, and a cool little booklet as well of all these special details, uh, and an alternate cover. Um, and you have, what, I think the alternate cover is just the one that is on the slipcase? Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, so this is called Troll the Complete Collection from Eureka, as it presents, oh, it's actually two discs, mm, interesting. Uh, so it actually presents Troll, uh, Troll 2, yes, uh, and uh, the documentary Best Worst Movie. So this is, you know, of course, Troll 2, hence Nilbog and all that stuff. Um, this is one of those cult classics like The Room, which is considered one of the best, worst movies of all time. Um, and it's... Yeah. I haven't actually seen Troll yet. I've only seen Troll 2. Um, and it has been a while, so I got this, like, last year, maybe the year beforehand. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen it, so it's kind of forgettable, but it does have, of course, your iconic moments. Um, so it's much like The Room. I think maybe The Room is probably more interesting and arguably a better, worse film. Um, so there's that. But um, it's good. And the documentary as well is really interesting to look at. It's it's just a nice box set kind of or slipcase edition, special edition version of it. So I'd 100% suggest checking this out uh, if you get a chance to. I think Eureka's remasters are pretty good. Um, I like that they're all, of course, Region B because I live in Australia. It helps. Uh... If I could get the Criterion versions, it depends, because mostly it's just... I mean, I know that they've done a Criterion release for Police Story 1 and 2, but I think I'm very... I'm more than content with the 4K remasters I already have, because they're probably from the same scans that uh, uh, Eureka did, so... Yeah, um, but if you're more of a Criterion person, Police Story 1 and 2 are probably better on... Uh, probably you can get them on Criterion instead of the Eureka, but that's fine. Um... Overall, I like Eureka Cinema. Uh, I don't have, obviously, a lot of their works, but because some of them I'm more selective with, uh, they do more... I don't know, I'd say more specific films, but it's really... I mean, even Criterion has some weird-ass films that they have in their remastered collection. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. 
feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more. Somewhere on this side will be playlists to my film shelf where I have my Criterion collection, probably my Arrow video collection, depends on if they've come out yet. Uh, Slipcase, steel case, 4Ks, Blu-ray, <laughs> a lot of collections, okay? Um, some of them vary in time period as well, so like my director's collection has been updated since, same as my 4K, but I have not actually, I mean updated in physical sense, not in digital sense, I haven't made a video that updates it because, imagine if I did a director's collection every single year, I'd hate that, uh, it's a waste of time. So yeah, feel free to check those out to kind of get a sense of my taste in film, which is all over the place. Um, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to check them in the description, uh, the comments, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios.